Hey, welcome back to the channel. My name is Nick, and today we have an exciting guest coming down, a client of ours, her and her husband. We are going to show them some land and some options to building a property here in Tulum. As of right now, I don't know if they're gonna let me film. We're gonna go meet them for lunch, and I'll ask them if it's okay to film the entire day. This video should be an amazing experience of you getting the inside information to what it takes to build a property like this. I'm actually in my Airbnb right now, just got done taking a shower. We rent and build and manage all these Airbnbs. You can see right here, uh, this is my unit. And we're gonna walk you through basically the entire step, the entire process, what to expect when it comes to building a property down here in Tulum. These clients, they originally wanted to buy something. We had spoken to them. They thought that it was gonna be super expensive to build. It turns out it's actually not. Uh, so this meeting, this entire day is going to be with Tony uh, and my other partners here in Tulum, going around, showing them and explaining to them exactly what they can expect. So enjoy the ride, enjoy the day, and I'm excited. If you have any questions, feel free to comment, like, subscribe. Catch me up on Instagram. My YouTube, I mean my uh, WhatsApp is attached right there. You can directly message me and we can set up a meeting. Fly down here. We can talk to you on a Zoom call, but let's go and uh, we'll get the day started. Gonna brush my teeth. I just got this new mirror made, custom made. Um, and these are the types of things that we build in these Airbnbs. So brush my teeth real quick and uh, head out and meet the clients. All right, so we are on our way out of Agua Santa Vibe. To the left right here, we have another client that is actually building an amazing outdoor space for his Airbnb. If you can see, he's got the, the tub right there. He's got a shower over there and a pool on the other side. And uh, it's actually a really cool setup. And again, that's why we make these Airbnbs to stand out so that they get bigger and better ROI. So we're gonna take the 98 Chevy Blazer to the meeting. Have a good day. It is a super hot day out. It's 94 degrees. We are driving around in Aldea Zama and headed to Boca Nariz for lunch to meet with everybody. So we're going to meet uh, our clients at a place called Boca Nariz. It's right here. It's in Aldea Zama in the, um, basically the heart of the development uh, right here you can see how it's very nice there's lots of walkways and restaurants and bars and whatnot right here is the sign it's in here so I'm gonna check and see if it's okay to film while we do while we do this meeting and uh, like I said enjoy the day so I'm just gonna pull up right here and uh, get ready to sit down that's a two-story it's got two private pools and that's a, a triple lockout so you can lock yes. it out uh, so there's actually three towers, right? One, two, three, and there's three units three. per tower. So a total of, of nine. So, um, and you'll see they're actually very, very spacious units. Uh, the penthouse is, is, is wonderful. And we have an occupancy rate in the entire development of around 70% for the last two years. Okay, so this, is the, this was delivered uh, over two years ago. I wanna say almost two and a half, and we've been renting it ever since. Show you guys a couple units here. Give me one sec. For us, the facade, the outside is very important. I think it always is, just because you know, it's uh, it's part of, of your presentation. And this, the name of our project is called Agua Santa, which means holy water. So water is what we wanted to make the element, you know, the, the, the one that we wanted to explode. So you'll see that all of the all the units have their own private pools. And actually, this is waterfalls right here. We turn them on three times a day, in the morning, in the after, uh, around two three p.m. And then, yeah. So when you're here, you'll hear, actually I'll turn them on in a sec, you'll hear the waterfalls come down. Um, and, the, and some units have waterfalls inside as well. So come on in. So a lot of jungles, well, these, these uh, we, we buy them from small, we take care of them, and this is basically what they grow up to be, okay? So we always like to use as much uh, greenery as possible. We're cleaning the unit, but there's no one here, so come on in. So this is the 
this is an example of uh, here what I want you guys to observe is like maybe the finishes see what finishes you guys like you know the spaces so you guys have an idea um, this is a two bedroom <coughs> big private pool uh, it's like a it's a big pool in here and then this is like for the kids and then it goes and these are waterfalls that I you turn them on whenever you want and you have the water here this unit measures 230 square meters, okay? Because of the outside naming. Inside's actually only 120, but a lot of outside space, garden. We fabricate our own furniture as well. I it's like an option that, 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 <laughs> that we... Does it cost a This table here was roughly like $2,200. Dollars? Yeah, $2,200. Including the chairs? Uh, to check because I remember this alone I picked it myself I saw it and I was like wow this is beautiful because I, I, I love this organic yeah. like you know yeah. cracks um, so just for the table and that I think I might have paid like 1800 let's say maybe with the chairs like $2,800 with chairs and everything which is very inexpensive compared to what this would cost in the United States probably and you do it yourself yeah, our team does it. We have a, a studio in, in Cancun. Oh. Yeah, I'm in Cancun and we have it. So everything that you see we did as well. Um, is that your, your what? Is it Pia? Pia, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh, yeah. That's my husband. I'm not know I'm saying. Ah, yeah. Oh, you're really? Yeah. 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 I don't know her. <laughs> do, you, do you like being called Pia? Yeah. yeah. It's an easy one for me to remember. That's Here we did, um, this is a marble floor called Fiorito Traventino, which I, I highly recommend uh, because it, it's really easy to clean. Super easy to clean. We did um, granite countertop here, here. Also very easy to clean. You gotta think about the upkeep and maintenance, especially with Airbnb. Mm -hmm. So for example, I seen how they clean it. I used to put like, um, like a- Windex. Like a Windex and it left it not good. Now the way they clean it is they just put soap and water. Mm -hmm. And with the squeegee, and it's like super easy. So those, that stuff matters on an Airbnb unit, right? Mm -hmm. um, we did that, this door as well, just to have more air flowing through. We put two fans as well. As you can see, we, we like lights. So uh, there's indirect light here as well. At nights, we turn these on and it looks a little more sexier. Um, let me see if I can turn this on. side garden that basically goes around the whole unit um, when we sold this well this unit actually we kept but the ground floors that we sold um, some put hammocks here I mean it's basically your your garden come on so it's two bedrooms what we did is we did the, the bedrooms in the back so that if you're in the living room you don't see anybody so if you leave your door open, you don't have to worry if your dirty clothes is, you know, hanging out because it gives you more privacy. This is something called chupu. You might have heard about it already. Uh, I highly recommend it on some walls, not on the floor because this stains. But on walls is fine, it keeps it cool, it's fairly inexpensive, uh, and people like it because it looks vintage, it gives that bohemian feel. Um, and this garden, I mean, we didn't do anything here, but we could have put a deck, we could put, you know, little tables out here, we wanted Hot to, tub, shower. Yeah, actually we're doing a hot tub on another one, I'll show you guys uh, the version we're doing. Here you're not gonna find a lot of closet space because it's a rental, so our, our average uh, client stays four nights, five days. That's on, on, on this on these type of units. Yeah. <laughs> ah, look at that. Then this becomes a lockup. So it's not in in real life. Most people do not use it as a lockup. But if maybe you have a friend who's gonna go party at night and wants to do their own thing, they can come in and come out without having to interrupt everyone else. So this one on Airbnb rents as, you have three people here, 
five, and then six in the living room. So this is a two bedroom sleep six. This averages about $250 a night. Uh, last year we ended our occupancy with a 79% on this unit. This unit generated roughly $70,000 gross in the year. It netted roughly $45,000. Okay. Uh, this unit would have, we kept it, but had we sold it, we probably would have sold it around 380. That was the value before we kept it. So the ROI is like 13 on this type of unit. Secret room. Yeah, yeah. Secret entrance. Okay. Now we're gonna go. Oops. We're gonna go see a penthouse, but there's only one available in the other tower. So notice how there's two entrances to the same building, but we need that for privacy. Again, just we don't, we don't like the pink feel. And then we didn't use an elevator here because the people who come down here are in the ages of 25 to 45. So it's not a big necessity. Obviously it is a luxury to have it. It's a nice one, but didn't find the need to do it with the target audience that we wanted to achieve. So you don't see elevators. Shucks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but that's okay. We we still hit the numbers we needed. <laughs> Same thing, uh, furniture, everything we did. The only thing we didn't do on this house was this table. So don't judge me. <laughs> I like the quality of the field. Yeah, you can tell right away. You know, this is a this has been built up for three years already, so it's not super new. Um, yeah, 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 that's a, a hit. People like that stone wall block. And you feel the air, right? Yeah, it's because of this. And so even though we're so that window is open. That window's right open now, yeah. right now. Mm -hmm. So here you have just nice big open space living room. Uh, as you notice this this kitchen was a little bit smaller than the other one because we wanted to preserve all this space. That's fine, Washer and dryer here. And then uh, the owner here wanted us to make a special little like uh, extra storage. So we did this, because this wasn't here, but we uh, we uh, were able to take advantage of that space. Yeah. <laughs> Underneath, right? That's always a big one. But we always look at little details like just, you know, Definitely. yeah, exactly. Um, and this is actually wood. This is wood from the area called Salam. 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 So this wood's not going to ever go bad because this is local wood from here that's already used to the weather conditions of the is area. It treated? Or? Yes. Mm -hmm. This is treated. And then you stain it? Uh, no. Uh, we, we treat it with, uh, you can actually kind of see it here. There's a little like a layer that we lay on the outside so it's not fully open mm -hmm. but if that layer goes back we can put the layer on again but yeah it's, it's all solid wood the only thing that is it doesn't warp, it doesn't warp because of the humidity yeah. it's like a local wood that's here so it, it the moisture's going to seep in and exactly it's but it's used to it's used to it yeah. so <clears throat> so this is two bedrooms downstairs 
same uh, component. No, this is the downstairs, and then there's the yeah, downstairs. This, this is loft up there, it's like one room. So each of the ten houses. Well, you'll see, rooms. it's one bedroom with another like little living room with another bed. Uh, size terrace as well. And then even this bed, that's a pull-out bed down there too. Oh. So you can pull it out and have someone else in there. <laughs> no, sorry. Yeah, you just... <laughs> yeah you, they go in and then you put them back in, the kids. Especially if they're crying. You guys have any kids? Yeah. I'm their kids. There's only one. No. Uh, and same, same here, this bed. So actually, you could have three and three. That's six. And then the living room, that's seven. And then we're gonna go upstairs right now as well. Okay. And, our, this, this door. and then this door also same thing. It all goes to the uh, outside. Outside. Mm -hmm. So if, if you close that door from the outside, it's a separate unit. Exactly. This person could not have access to the rest of the unit if you close it from the outside. So this could be rented like as a hotel room. You know, we have not had the need oh, to do that, smart. but we did that because. As I mentioned, we used to study the market before. We still do when we build, but uh, before we had a market uh, study company and all we did is collect information about who, who came here. And what we realized that maybe in the future, as you have, the market can change. And if the market changes, then locking it off could be a value. Right now, we haven't had the need to rent them as separate units. People want the whole three bedroom. This unit is uh, one of the better performing units. Uh, this unit is making uh, per night. This rents for six hundred dollars a night. That's what I have. Okay. Yeah. In no season, like uh, I got married and my family came on April, last April, and thank you. And the owner did me a favor and rented it to me for four hundred a night. Okay. That that was his favor to me. So this unit stays at six hundred bucks a night. Uh, it serves as a little sleeping area. Also, you pull that out, and then same thing. And then this view is just killer. Amazing. Right? Now here you're gonna be creative. You're gonna notice the double door. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This here is the double door, and you can see because you can lock this off. If I close this door, lock it from here, the person in there couldn't come in here. Mm -hmm. So you can rent this as a two bedroom plus two living rooms. Basically, everything from here there, okay? And you can rent this as a separate unit. Okay, coming from outside. That's right. That's the really smart. Uh, on pool. That's good architects. Yeah, have, you, have you done that and had a, a noise complaint from guests from here? We have not. Uh, the reason we put the, the double door was for the idea of the noise. Then we kind of were like, well, I don't think it's gonna be used as often. There's noise proof uh, solutions that we didn't do, but there's rubber that you could use, different doors that we could have used, but the owner didn't want to make the extra investment. He was like, no, that's fine. But if you really wanted to make a noise proof, you can somewhat. Yeah. But there's, I mean, there's still concrete walls, so it's not like it's gonna be really loud, but it's, you'll still hear some noise. So this is the second pool. It's got two, two private pools. Um, and well, here is really nice. You have a barbecue area, mm -hmm. great views. This this pool actually, if you if you, you see it from downstairs, it it goes over the building. It's called uh, una alberca volada. It's like a, it's flying. This the structure of this pool is flying outside of the building. We have to create a uh, 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 more uh, stronger, more it's expensive. Like country river. Yes. Yeah. So that's just depending on what the clients want. I mean, this one obviously is a, was a, an amazing investment. Uh, this guy's the one making almost 15% return. And then we have another next door. I'll show you the other one. The other one's a whole different custom build. 
very different. Um, the client wanted that, and so we gave him that, and I'll show you guys what I mean. Very different unit. So you guys completed construction here two years ago? Uh, three years ago. Three years ago. Mm -hmm. And have oh. been renting? Uh, two and a half. Oh. So you need family, you can build three floors, so a house, and uh, multi, you can do four. So the Wi-Fi, um, the, everyone who's on site here, like even the security guard who opened me, they all work for Omni. Uh, they all work internally, they know that they're Airbnb, so the thing they're looking at is service. So if someone gets here with like your groceries, they help them out, right? And so it's, they're not, I think sometimes here, there's a lot of security guys, a lot of them are not going to rent to Here, everybody knows what everyone is in the hospital. Um, they try to fight. Thank you. Yes, so I am the CEO and general manager of DreamX Investments. I have two partners, Ray and Renee, they're from New York. And the three of us, mainly me, because I'm the one that here, they're lately in New York, they're more investors more than anything. So we are the developers of, uh, of the company. So we develop, build, and so forth. And then I partner independently, not with them, with David. David is uh, my uh, partner with Click and Home. He left another company that he was working on for many, many, many years to come work with me. Today we administer over 50 properties together. And that's the name, Click at Home. But that's a separate company from so DreamX. Yeah. Um, and what else? And then the furnishing company, which I what I did is I partnered with Pia. Mm -hmm. And Pia and I basically furnish. But he's the architect in the furniture, not me. Okay. My wife helps some with the ideas, and I have a good eye for things. Because I build with that in mind. Decor. Decor is important, right? Mm -hmm. Like when you come in here, you see these things. So the architects and I are working together with the furniture guy at the same time from the design to make sure that we can fit X amount of people, that the um, kitchen table is gonna be big enough. You know, if we wanna showcase something, he'll, they'll, they'll design around that. Like we're gonna see another unit right now. similar but whole different finishes mm -hmm. the client of this unit he bought in pre-construction so he had, the, he had the opportunity to choose some of the finishes mm -hmm. and he wanted something more bohemian more to loom mm -hmm. a little bit more raw and so uh, we did this design this is actually a four bedroom okay so I'll show with you guys what I mean so this is polished cement that he did on the walls he wanted this tile to break off some of the polished cement and then he wanted to go black the unit is very dark. That's, that's the style that he wanted. I think the people that stay here, this is what they're looking for. They're looking for that very bohemian, um, organic, right? Everything here is, this is all polished cement. Um, so it, it does change the tone, it changes the mood. Some people don't like it because it feels too dark. So it just depends. But even, even the, you notice even the uh, doors changed. Same thing to bedroom. What changes here is upstairs. I'll show you guys what I mean. Let me get a gimbal. 
I need to. But this thing has an actually really good stabilization. Yeah, it's the new iPhone 13. Yeah, in this area. Notice the other one didn't have, it was much wider. Yeah, I know. That's true. we did this little room. Oh. Yeah, so you can see the size of the it is safe, yes. We, we've been there many times. Uh, so what we had planned originally was to actually do a library here and have like this books. But uh, that was my idea. But he was like, no. So we kept it like that. <laughs> but I, I, I still have that idea. I'll do it sometime. Yeah. And then here, this is a, this, this comes down to watch movies. Oh, oh. We, ha we have to get, he's going to get the, uh, the projector. Yeah, we just put that in, so. You don't hear? No. no. See, now they lock us out. Yeah. Yeah, so similar floor plan. Not, not much change other than we added the, uh, the other bedroom and we added the hammock, the hanging hammock. Spaceship. That is like a hanging hammock, uh, more, a more comfortable hammock, but it's a place for kids. So uh, uh, anyone wants to just lounge. Or lie down there. Yes. So uh, this whole place went on solar? Uh, that's the whole place, but um, so we're still putting solar on this one. Well, they all, like this one's gonna have solar, this one has solar, that one has solar. That takes care of almost half of the electric bill of, of the units. Are you so, the brain? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't yeah, because um, even though it's, it, it'll be rainy, it'll still, <laughs> it's still sunny, man. Yeah. Sometimes I wish it was nice and cool, but <laughs> sun doesn't stop, doesn't miss a beat. And I do recommend solar. People ask me, at first I didn't know because we didn't have them. And I didn't believe and they're very expensive. And then I found the company who will actually charge you zero to install them, zero to buy them. They actually rent them to you. They rent them to you. And even with what you're paying to, for the rent, you have to sign, I think it's a 10 year agreement. And uh, the monthly, I think it's like $300 less. No, 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 it's gotta be way less, like 150. And it lowers your bill to almost half, even with the 150 you're paying because the electric bill here can be high because people have the AC running at all times, especially if it's like yes. muggy or a uh hot. -huh. Do they like collect extra power? Yeah, they basically they do. Uh -huh. You collect power and then you sell it back to the city. Right. You sell it to the... You guys didn't see, I'm not sure you saw this though earlier. So this stairway is just for these units. So let's say in a house, like this, what we're doing with the client, this is basically what we're doing. We're doing a whole separate stairs from the outside. So visually, you cannot even see it to get to the one room on the top. Yeah, and this was all done because of the market study that we did. Because if you, if you know who you're designing for, then it makes Seven, this this sleeps nine so it maybe not nine come but let's say eight right eight's a good group comfortable each one pays 65 75 dollars and they cover the the expense so that's why the anyways, to answer your question yeah the groups are are coming more and more and more whereas before it was just like a young couple coming for a few days and then leaving but now it's it's groups cool so we'll go on here different concept so the, the colors this one actually has common areas uh, this is where Nick invested um, as well so we'll see his unit in a bit 
Uh, and this is a more newer. So this one, we just delivered the units in February. Wait. How long is the construction? 18 months. 18 months on this one, 24 months on the other. This is only six units. Ah, Pia is here. This is his name is Acid. This is my partner. He does he helps me with uh, everything to do with furniture, uh, cabinetry. Right now he's doing a special project for us right here. You'll see it. This is an extra uh, Oh nice. It looks we just good. put a deck, we're gonna put a jacuzzi tub, a shower, and then there's the whole site. So the ground floors, because they have the extra space. You can do so much more. That's why for me a house is like it's a mural. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a beautiful canvas. Mm -hmm. So this uh, this owner did these add-ons after the delivery. Okay. Bueno, ahorita checamos, bro. Gracias, eh? Come on in. We can go inside, I think, yeah, too. We're go through here. Yeah, the. Uh... right in the middle, right? Like a regular design. And then my architect calls me and says, Tony, we have a good problem. Cause I wanted a tree. And so he's like, there's your tree. We can't take it off anyways. Mm -hmm. So we built around. So now the pool looks like a Mickey Mouse pool with the ears. Mm -hmm. um, and this is just extra space. So right now uh, we got the garden. The garden is adding more, more plants. And we it's want to like they called the hangout area. That guy who has a show on TV, insane pools. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Lucas, Lucas Lagoon. Oh, okay. More of an artistic project for that, you know, find that one's art that likes this style. Sorry? Oh, yeah. Well, British This is the wood that I like to work with. This is called parota. Parota is one of the. This, these have been out here for months in the rain, weather, and, and it's, yeah, and it's super cool. These are not arranged the way they should. Right now we moved them. Is it Acacia or? Parota. Parota. What's the one you said? Acacia. Acacia. They know it as two different names, so I could be. But this is this is one we call Parota. Same over there, that's a big bench. Acacia and then the red one is Nava. Yeah. Nava. The, we have the red one here too. It's more like the the cabinetry that I showed you earlier. Salam. Yeah. yeah, those are really nice. And then what we're gonna do with these little, like my team comes out here literally every week and they tangle these. Mm -hmm. And the same and the same and the same. We put lights as well. So at night this this is gonna look, gonna yeah, really, really nice. All right, now I'll show you guys one of the here. The, the client wanted us to do something really different. Yes. Look at this one. So we decided to give him what he wanted. Pretty oh, cool. that was filled with water yesterday. Yeah. yeah. So these are. this is all going to be filled with water. And this is for your steps. And this is a hangout area. And this is a little waterfall. Just like a zen area. Right? Pretty cool. Or a bar. <laughs> Oh, that was my initial thought. I was like, do you sit and you drink? Cause that's cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah, bro. Mm. Ya puedo pisar aquí? Okay, just want to check make sure these, these things we can step on. Wow. This is the same wood, parota. Oye, te está quedando muy chido, eh? Ah, this is catalosh. It's a different tree. Even stronger. Eh, this is parota. No, también es catalosh. Catalosh, wow. See, they did this. Like, I'll show you the opposite one so you see what what we delivered and what he was able to. This is vol volcanic rock, real volcanic rock. Mm -hmm. 
y la cascadita ya está funcionando. Ya todo funciona. ¿Sí? Ya nada falta que se lave bien. Oh, wow, bien. nice. I hadn't been here in about 10 days, so um, this is Yeah, they did this super fast, too. Yeah. 10 um, days and it changes like this? Yeah, I mean, I mean, the deck wasn't here. Uh, these, that these, wasn't there this, yesterday. This wasn't here, only this was here. Wow. We added this, too, to give it a little bit of shade. Because the owner of this unit said it's missing something. Because he saw the other one and he liked the pools and he, and he's like it's missing something. So I said, well, let's get on a call and see what we can figure out. And uh, yeah, he's the genius behind it. Though, I will say. ¿Cómo se ha por aquí? Todavía no. Está fresh. Okay, these are fresh yet. We're going through one of the sides. Can I get to that side so that I can take no, no, a picture? You can. You can, you can, you can, yeah, you can step here. You're fine here, and you can, you can take can a step, photo. but you cannot go there. Oh, that, that on the the wood is wet right there. It's so stained. Wow. But you can step on these. These are good. Okay, I'll take your picture. <laughs> <laughs> I, do, I just want to take a picture of them. Mm -hmm. look, look, I don't think that Michael has seen this yet. No, he hasn't. Good. This just Here, step out of the picture. Come out of the picture. Oh, no. Move there. <laughs> All right. Whoa. And then you just want over there. And I have the jacuzzi and the shower. And all this was an add-on that wasn't here as well. This furniture is amazing, isn't it? It's really Sorry, Nick. I almost lost you over there. We got all the qualities that you can tell. We did this. Yeah. We did this. Yeah. Yes. This. 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 I'll show you how they move all the way. Those are thermite running. Yes, well, we treat them, but it's something you have to continue to do over continue. and over. Yeah, uh, we, we we do that every month. Actually. Yeah, I know they've been peeled. Yeah, mm -hmm. but that's that is a ongoing thing with the with jungle. Yeah, <laughs> that feels awesome, bro. bro it it is. Nice. No. That. He nailed it. He nailed it. Yeah, yeah. And and to do to, to do all that and to do all that was like super cheap, like ridiculous. Yeah. The client was ready to pay like thirty some thousand to do all these add-ons. It was uh, less than half of that. Wow. <laughs> so you can't get this in, this this work in the states for this cheap, right? No. Yeah, you can go. If you want, you go. See, no, put a hot tub right there. Yeah. Oh, 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 no. The oh, the sap of that thing? Right? Yeah. It so stains we, your skin. We, I didn't know that this tree was here. He found out. And he's like, do you know that this is a Chechen? It's called a Chechen. And I'm like, no, the Chechen's supposed to look a little different. And then he started educating me on it. And, then, and I'm like, oh, shoot, it is. But whenever there's a Chechen, within uh, 10 feet, you find the opposite tree, which is the one that heals you. And that's over there. What? Yeah, well, let's check it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is not yeah. a, a fact. Uh, sorry, this is a fact, not a, a story. Meaning it just grows or? It's God's uh, divine. Oh, no, oh, no. My God. Yes. So this is, that's why we put rope. So once you hit it, you run. Yes. So but it will stain that your body one? like a tattoo oh, yeah. forever if you don't go over to the other tree. Oh, wow. Yeah, that red one takes yeah. care of the, of the damage and burn that this one creates. Wow. So we had a choice, either take the tree down, or, just keep it. or or he says, no, we can rope it, and we're going to be fine. Really so we roped it. It's a good... Uh, right? It will not seep the sap out of the rope. Or... Maybe. Y con esto no se... 
Te o sea, reducimos más el, el, el peligro. Riesgo, ¿no? O sea, mientras a lo mejor esté húmedo el árbol y pueda estar húmeda también la cuerda, puede que ah, un poco, sí. ¿no? Pero ya es, o yeah. sea, es mínimo. Yeah. He says that there could, but it'll be very, very, very minimal. Um, but I mean, I don't think most people are going to be touching it. I never touched the prior to me knowing, thank God. But no one did. Inclusive la misma sombra del árbol, te asolea, te quedas ardiendo la misma sombra del árbol. O sea, al hacerle esto ayudó. Yeah. He said that even just being around the tree, the uh, the when there's sun, it heats up that area that you're around, and you feel the heat even more around this tree. You saw, pretty cool. Yeah, it's that's Tulum's mystic uh, for you. Y este donde baila, aquí se queda, bro. Sí. And so this one, they're still they're still gonna still working on it, but it's amazing. It's muy bien, bro. Excelente trabajo. Good job. And this is another area that we're at. How awesome. We even did this uh, pergola as well. And something really cool. It just makes us stop here. <laughs> so we did a little hangout area. This unit rents extremely well just because of the photos of, of this, the visuals. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. This one rents almost double as the one next door. The one next door, I kept it. I should have kept this one. And you know what I didn't keep it? It was because there was a client who said, I don't like the tree. Because she, she's like, it's gonna, we almost took the tree out for the client. Oh, no. And so she put a doubt in my head. So I kept the other one. Mm -hmm. And the client who bought this one came in like, beautiful. This is, I love trees, beautiful. Boom, and now she's renting <laughs> twice as mine because of that. Just that visual makes all the difference. Oh, we did everything here. Um, that is macrame that we did. Uh, that one, Pia doesn't do it, but we have a family from uh, Francisco Umar. They do macrame. That's all handmade. They did that in like 10 days. You guys get a chance to check it out. Stuff those guys do this beautiful. I'm going to show you um, a couple that are outside of here in Region 15. And also we have in Puerto Aventuras. So we have a house in Puerto Aventuras. Uh, there's a house in Holistica. You heard of Holistica? And I heard of Holistica is a wellness community. Oh, you can do some about it. Yeah, yes, yeah. You learn from meditation, yoga. There's one there. And then there's the one in Region 15. But to be uh, very transparent, building a house is much, much, much easier than building this. Um, well, in the fact that it's obviously less square meters to build, so it takes about half of the time to build a house versus if we we're building this. Like a house would take us, if the funds are there, the funds, the house can take us eight months to build. Really, really, very easy. Um, so it's it's much easier. And not including permits. Not including the permits. Just just the build. Permits would take about ninety days. Still fast in the states, right? From what I hear. Yeah, my my friend just like they asked me about um, our permitting process, and ours took maybe two months. Mm. But hers is looking like that. Wow. Oh no. Yeah. yeah no, just no. stopped construction in our area, the area, <coughs> temporarily. Wow. Been developing because so fast. of. Oh. And then the other thing about building a house is it's easier to think about what you have to do because you don't have to think about lobbies. Uh, entry like a lobby area um, what do you call hallways you don't have to think about hallways you don't have to consider um, you know whether the house is facing the other unit and there's yeah, privacy windows have to be like, like yes directly with each other right? correct so building a house is is for us is much much easier than than having to do this and it takes half of our but I like homes better because you can it's way more impactful Right? Like even these penthouses, which are beautiful, but on a house, you can do so much more. Right? You have the, the, the size to do it. So. I have one more question before sure. we gotta go. Um, the, the client, the one mm -hmm. that we're talking about, that I love. Alejandra. Yes. Um, when, when does that project start? 
Okay, so the the land she bought, mm -hmm. she bought it in two payments. She mm -hmm. paid the owner half. The owner is a friend of mine. Mm -hmm. So he allowed her to pay half now and then the other half in October. Okay. So we can build until October. Okay. Uh, in the meantime, we're starting on the just the design. Mm -hmm. um, she's selling a house in Canada because she bought two lots from us and she wants to do both homes. So Was she- it two lots for 150? No, or 150 each. no, one one mm -hmm. one was 150, uh -huh. and then the other one was 85,000 mm -hmm. in okay. Region 15. Region 15. Okay. Yeah, okay. so, um, but it, but she wants to start uh, almost parallel both, mm -hmm. so she needs to sell a house because it's a lot of money, but she's gonna be pumping it. the design. That design, so far, we've taken two weeks, and we have to deliver it in three more weeks. So, just an architectural design, max 45 days, max. So it's it's a quick process. And when do you estimate that? That again goes back to the funding, right? If, if she ha if she sells her house and she has the funds, mm -hmm. each house will take us eight months. So, okay. Mm -hmm. Eight months, add three months of permitting, so 11, max 12. Yeah, there is there, the only delays that happen that you hear about mm -hmm. is generally because they run out of money. I see. Or, yeah, there's really no other reason. Well, the the rain or if we have a big like storm that came in and maybe for a week we stop, and maybe another storm comes in a month later, and maybe we stop four times because of storms, mm -hmm. and we could be delayed a month. I see. But storms don't last more than three, four, five days and then they're gone. So, so the only delays will be based on weather or based on the funding. If the funding's not there, some clients, uh, like um, we have a client that designed and built in Porta Venturas, the one I mentioned to you, but he was paying, he was building the house based on his uh, income. So that prolonged it to like 14 months, but that was based, he wanted it like that because he could only do it like that. So we're flexible. We don't recommend though, that we stretch it too long because we have to continue to buy the materials. I see. And the materials go up in price almost every quarter. Okay. So I wouldn't recommend that we stretch it unless it's super necessary, mm -hmm. which is fine by us. But the 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 um, original proposal can change mm -hmm. if we go off that which we projected. Meaning we'll tell you, hey, cost of everything, let's say 450, right? 450. That's it. By contract, it cannot cost you a dime more. Mm -hmm. Unless we agree to 12 months and now you need 15 months. Oh. Or unless you said, hey, Tony, I want you to go one more floor. Mm -hmm. But if we stick to the, what we uh, put contractually, then there is uh, no delays on, there shouldn't be any delays. Okay. And you will not pay a dime more than that. It's a fixed price, okay? There's no surprises. And sorry, remind me one more time. What what size plot of land she bought? She bought 375 okay. on on the bigger one, and then she bought one that was 344 square meters. Which one is that house going on? So the one I showed you is on 375, and then the other home will be on a lot that's 344. <laughs> but it's my understanding that you could still do this on 350, just FYI. So, so anything 3, 340, 350 to 400 is ideal for a four bedroom home. You can do a three bedroom home on 300 square meters as well. No problem. And you'll spend a little less on the, on the land. Okay. Any other questions so no, far? we're probably going to no? be late. <laughs> so. Okay, sorry, go ahead. No, 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 no it's fine. Um, so we'll probably be in touch. We have a lot of things to discuss. Yeah. So we'll be I would like to know, you know, whether we should continue. We have a lot of clients, thank God, and we're like in 130 WhatsApp groups. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Literally. either a, a friendly no is good. Tony, we decided otherwise, no problem. And that's it. So we can uh, basically just take it off our checklist. Sure. If you say, hey, we want to continue the conversation, just you telling us that alone will continue to put energy into it. Okay. Okay. Cool. Um, just well, that's it, guys. So today, Tony and I took out... Uh, our client, potential client, we showed them everything that 
Tony has built, including my penthouse, some new projects, and another client, as you saw, with the little steps in the pool. And um, some we couldn't see because we're lack of time. Lack of time. Uh -huh. So we are gonna go ahead and get some uh, food right now because we're super hungry. But that is basically what you can expect when you fly down here, you meet with Tony and I, and we'll show you around, depending on whether or not you wanna build or you want to buy. The idea is to basically make sure that we are setting you up for success because when we set you up for success, everybody is successful. You know, you bring more clients to us and we can all work together and benefit off of everything. Um, Tony is the man if you're looking for any sort of development or any project here in Tulum. Feel free to hit us up on Instagram. Uh, my WhatsApp number is actually directly linked to my Instagram and we can get on a Zoom meeting and start the entire process. So thank you for watching. Feel free to like, comment and subscribe and we'll talk to you soon. Let's go.